this is going to be my introduction video to my new reptile. So you're wanting to get a new reptile, what are the first things that you should do? Well, after all the research and deciding if this reptile is right for your family, the next thing you need to do is make sure that the habitat is set up before you ever get them. So, here we go. You're going to need, depending on the, um, I guess, reptile in question, you'll need heat lamps, possible UV bulbs, and this is what I'm using for, um, this is going to be like a hot rock. It absorbs heat. Oh boy. It absorbs heat very well when it's in a basking area. I'm going to have shelving uh, with stainless steel so it doesn't rust uh, for basking areas. And, you know, for a juvenile, um, the, the reptile in particular that I am getting in a couple days is a water monitor. They grow very large. But for now, for a baby, I think it's about five to six weeks old. These kind, of, this kind of shelving's fine. It it it'll hold the weight um, up until juvenile, um, but in the end, I'm going to be building a much larger cage um, and lots of different, you know, shelving with beefier, you know, probably wood platforms. Here's a lone cat. So anyway. Um, Dirt. You don't necessarily have to have eco earth or you know special reptile dirt, but for now, since it's hatchling, I want to get the best start possible. I've had some good and bad luck with uh, topsoil from like Home Depot or whatever. Sometimes it can have a lot of trash in it, and I've had really good batches and I've had really bad batches. So, for for just for now, um, just to get my my little baby started, I'm going to you know use actual reptile bedding just to make sure that you know there's no nasty like band aids and concrete nasty stuff inside of the, the topsoil but at least for a water monitor tag use uh, animals like that a mixture of peat moss um, topsoil and sand um, is a very really really good mix and it holds holds uh, I guess burrows really well uh, as well as moisture so uh, this is not the extent of everything that I'm putting in the enclosure but this is just a good example of, of what I'm doing now the enclosure uh, I've got this guy right here. Um, it's uh, it's rather large. It's going to be a large uh, enclosure for a for a, a baby, but um, as long as there's enough hides, hides on the cool side, hides on the uh, the warm side, um, the baby should be fine. Uh, I'm not going. To, I was thinking about halving it, but in the end, um, and if it ends up that the hatchling is a little fearful. Uh, after, you know, the first week or whatever, I may have it, but I think that they should be fine, especially a water monitor that starts out pretty big to begin with. So, anyway, I'm going to be, uh, installing these bits into here over the next few days, and it will be done by the time, uh, my, my water monitor arrives to me from, uh, New England Reptile Distributors. And that should be on Tuesday. Today is Saturday. Uh, so... Let's get started. It'd be nice if you had a hand. Let's be smarter. How about this? We need there, probably here and there. Okay, so that's installed. Now we just have to get the bottom braces. So it stops being so floppy. Okay, so now we have some cleaned pieces of tile, and to keep the nails down and have it a little rough for grip, traction, whatever, let's shove that bore right there. 
here. This one. gives a little area over here underneath very nice okay now it's time to see where I need to adjust these lights for the correct basking temperature I'm just gonna make little designs Oh, I just came from Home Depot. <coughs> Sorry, Lowe's. Let me get it right. Got me some peat moss, some soil stuff, some pavers. I got some other uh, cement um, pavers outside. And I've set up my lights. I've got a climbing um, stick, board, whatever. It's going to be less of an angle once I get the dirt in here. No dirt yet. Uh, just making sure I'm letting my all my... Uh, Basking spots heat up. See how everything goes as far as, uh, my face is probably giant, uh, as far as temperature wise and make sure everything looks good. And, uh, and then I got some hides and a swimming pool. So I can put that in here now. Oh. So that's all for this video. Until next time, hopefully the next video will have the, the new little baby in it. But this is just kind of a little intro of getting your enclosure set up before you get your new reptile. So the transition from last owner or breeder to you can be much much more smooth and easy for the, the new little guy or big guy.